This is the Windstar hood. It's a beautiful hood, but the lights can be a problem. If your lights go off totally and they never come back on, even after a long period of time, then it's probably the bulbs. They're in series and you can check them. But if they go off and then don't come back on for a long period of time, that's a different problem. That is the LED driver. The LED driver is located behind the uh, button mechanism inside the hood. So to get to that, to get to that, we have to remove the uh, filters. It's easy enough. You also have to uh, take out the charcoal filter there. Then there's this little little piece of uh, paneling here with those two screws that I just pointed to. You undo those two screws and pull the panel out. The LED driver, LED driver sits inside there horizontally on the bottom, and you have to kind of work it out, but when you get it out, then we can begin to uh, work on it. You order a replacement LED driver from Windstar directly, and you prepare it by taking off these, uh, these cover screws and removing this, this plastic cover piece, which uh, just kind of pops up a little bit if you pry it. Okay, inside there's a, a terminal block that has two little set screws on the top and the two openings to insert the wire into, okay? So we back, I'm just going to show you an example here because you have to do this on the fly, hanging up and down, upside down. But you loosen the set screws, get it ready, and then you would take the wire lead from one, the old one, and put it into the, the new one, which I'll show you in a minute. But you simply insert it into the hole, then tighten up the set screw again, and make sure it's good and tight. Good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what you do is make sure that you have both LED drivers, the old one and the new one, oriented the same way, and then just do a direct replacement of the four wires that are involved. One side has a red and black wire. The other side has a black and white wire. Put them into the same terminal holes on each unit as you transfer them from one, from the old LED driver to the new LED driver. Make sure that you tighten up the set screws to hold the wires in place. Okay, that's one, one more to go. All right. I will say this, when you first have to remove the LED driver, it's only held in by a, a sticky tape on the back. So you have to rock it a little bit to get it, get it free. Okay, so this is the last, the last wire of the transfer. I would advise, uh, once you get that done, I would advise checking at this point to make sure that everything is going according to plan. So we just go over and we check the light switch. Yes, it works. You can turn them off and turn them back on and they come on immediately. That's a big relief. All right, now we have to put all the, uh, the protective covers back over the terminal blocks. So they just pop right back in there, and then put your uh, put your four screws in into in two screws on each one into place. I'll tell you, we went like days without having the light charge up enough to come back on. It starts slowly, a couple of hours, and then it'll work again. But eventually it'll get to a point where it's like, uh, it could be days before it powers up enough to come back on again. So you really have to 
you're going to have to, in the long run, you're going to have to learn how to do this trick if you want to keep it for years and years. All right, so once we got all the uh, the wires and the covers reattached on everything, then we will place it back into the frame. All right. All right, now we will... This is the uh, sticky pad I was telling you about. I didn't use it. I just put it back in because that was, that was a little bit of a thing. You got to rock it back and forth to free it. I just put it back in place and put it down. It's safe. All the wires are covered. You're not going to be moving the hood any place. So in case you ever have to do it in the future, it'll make your life a lot easier. if You can just pop it back out again. All right. So now what we do is uh, we just reassemble everything. We put that... Uh, we put that little uh, metallic panel back in place. Okay, good. Two screws for that. After this, you just put the uh, charcoal filter back in place and the two uh, bottom filters, the first two filters that you see. And... Uh, We'll be, hopefully, back in business. Success, baby. They go off, they go on. They go off, they go on. All right, enjoy your hood.